Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KV5065789 because of this install error 0x800F0983. So if you're receiving this error, click on retry. You can click on retry multiple times and then you can check. If the retry does not work, then you can start these services. Type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness. Make a double click on app readiness. Set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now find Windows update, scroll down. Here you can see Windows update, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. So find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, then click on restart or start. And once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check still not working, pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows settings and then over here, uh, you can pause the update. So over here, you can see pause option, so hit pause. Now this may take some time. Now once paused, now hit resume updates. Click on it and let it complete. Now still not working. The next step is to run SFC and DSM command. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. And then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the entry. Now this will run a scan and the scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete. So let it complete. Once this is 100% complete, copy the second command. And you can paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use update Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update. That is KB506-5789. And then click on search. Now on this page, Now on this page, uh, first of all, type in W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver in Windows search box, click on Winver and check which version of Windows 11 you have. So here, in my case, it's version 2.4 H2. So it's 2.4 H2 and you can check what kind of system you have. So you can go to system over here and then go to about option. And here you can see X64 bit operating system. Now for me, it's Windows 11 version 2.4 H2 X64 based system. This is the right one for me. So if you have like 2.5 H2, then it's Windows 11 version 2.5 H2. And if it is X64, you can download this one. But I have 2.4 H2 X64. So this is the right one for me. And then click on download. And then on this page, click on KB5065789. And let the update complete. Now, once the update is complete, you can click on this file. Click on it. And then... Once it is complete, click on it and you can install this update manually. Just follow the on-screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and then check. Next step is to use fix problems using Windows update option. So you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option. Over here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, now you can check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. And here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Click on save. 
and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. Once this is complete, click on finish option. Once you hit, hit finish, let this close automatically. Do not close this manually. Let it close. And then you can go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, make a double click. And then you will see setup file, make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow. And then click on next. And then click on accept over here. And here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. Once the installation is done, now you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.